A long time ago, there was a project we highlighted a couple of times on the channel called Open UI. And in my opinion, this project definitely inspired and influenced the creation of tools similar to it, like Claude Dev or even Claude Engineer. It's a revolutionary product and it can fully generate UI components based off of screenshots and prompts that you provide it. But the only problem is, is that there is a delay in creating and iterating quite efficiently with Open UI as it's more focused on standardizing different UI components across different frameworks. But what if I'm to tell you that there is a faster alternative to open UI huh? that's more efficient in creating and iterating on UI components? Well, allow me to introduce Rapid Pages, a prompt first IDE that allows developers to quickly generate UI components using React and Tailwind by simply describing what they need in natural language. In just 40 seconds, someone created a simple job application form using Rapid Pages. It first renders out the design and provides a code in another tab. You can further iterate on it by requesting to add certain components. In a way, you're working with the AI to generate what you want. And you can see that you can simply send in this prompt to add certain things such as expanding on the address to add street address, state, country. And within a couple seconds, it'll add those components for you. Now, just to point out, this is completely open source. So don't think that you need to upgrade a plan and pay to access this. This is just uh, a way for you to actually access it on the cloud, which you need to pay, I believe, $20. But I definitely do not recommend that. I would just simply install it locally. But let's explain the UI. You have the ability to access prior history where you can access prior generations. You have the ability to generate and see what is happening in this main UI dashboard. You have all your renders showing up in this tab over here and the code in the other tab. And then you have this prompt dashboard where you can upload pictures as well as describe what you want to create. And in a way, you can even have it so that it could be forked and you can share it so other people can actually collaborate on your generations. Now, one thing that stood out to me the most and made me want to try this framework out is the fact that they have this interesting tool called Snap, where it can basically turn live web page designs into code. It's a browser extension that lets you snap a screenshot of a random web component to extract design elements directly from the web page, and it matches your coding preferences in Tailwind CSS or other styles. In essence, it's a simple screenshot tool with rapid pages that's built as a web extension to easily code whatever you would want. Now, in this example, someone is creating a pricing section for a SaaS web page, and you can see that with in like around 30 seconds, it's able to create this beautiful pricing structure page for you. And this is with just one single prompt. Now there is no code involved and it is quite interactive and really easy to get started with. Now, this is definitely amazing. This is a classic to do app that was created and he basically requested to add a calendar to it so that he can add different notes as well as schedules to what events should be added and within just a couple of seconds, it builds out the components. Now, like I mentioned, in comparison to OpenUI, it efficiently and it does it a little bit faster in comparison to OpenUI when it outputs these different generations. And this is the great thing about Rapid Pages. It's going to be able to rapidly generate these UI components for you. And it doesn't just generate wonky components. It is quite sleek and modern, and it generates fully functional components for you. So how can you get started? Well, you can actually install this locally as this is an open source framework that you can easily clone onto your computer. And I'm gonna be showcasing this afterwards. But you can also access the cloud version where you can utilize the hobby version and it doesn't actually require you to pay for it. You can easily just get started, go to the designer and start prompting up anything you would want based off of providing an image or based off of your own custom prompt. Now, I definitely do not recommend purchasing this if you have the hardware to locally host it because there's no need to purchase something like this if you do not have the ability to locally host it then i guess you would but in my opinion there's other tools out there that you should definitely utilize rather than just simply utilizing this like anthropic cloud 3.5 has its own artifact which is very very similar to rapid pages and it's even better in terms of having all the other features associated with it so Rather than purchasing something, just utilize the free versions as well as the local models so that you can easily utilize all of these capabilities. 
So to install this locally, you're going to need to install certain prerequisites. Now, first things first, you need to make sure that you have Python as your programming language. You need to make sure that you have Node.js and NPM. I'll leave all of these different links in the description below. You need to also make sure that you have Git installed, an app that will help you clone this repository onto your desktop. You'll need Supa Base as your database. Uh, you'll need VS Code as your code editor, and you'll need Docker to contain the environment. So what you want to do first is go over to the Rapid Pages GitHub repository. You want to click on the green button and click on the copy button. Now, once you have done that, just head over to your command prompt and you can do this on Windows if you're following along with me. But if you're on Mac OS or Linux, just config the different commands based off your own operating system. So first things first, what you want to do is type in git clone and paste the link in for Rapid Pages. Once you have done that, type in CD but you want to then head over to the rapid pages folder and that's by just simply typing in cd rapid pages next we're going to be inputting the api keys so open up vs code and click on open folder and open up the folder that you just cloned up so once you have found the rapid pages folder go over to the dot end file and before you start even pasting in things just right click on this file click on rename and take out the dot example Next, you want to go over to Subbase to set up your API key for the database. You want to create an account. This is completely for free. So simply create your account. Now create your database. So click on create new project. Once you have done that, give it a name. Once you create your organization, you can then head over to the dashboard where you're going to be able to access the API key. After creating the rapid pages project, go over to project settings, then head over to the database. And then you want to simply just copy this link. Then head back into VS Code, wherever you see the database URL, just simply paste it into over here. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. Now, in this section over here, you want to input the password that you use to create this database. So make sure you remember that and make sure you paste it in over here. You will then need to input your OpenAI API key. So you want to simply copy your key that you generate, which I'll leave a link to this in the description below. You want to go over to the open API key area and then just simply paste it in. Next, you want to basically create your GitHub OAuth application. To do so, just simply click on this button over here, which will take you to this link over here. Give it a name. So in this case, I'm going to just name it Rapid Pages. And then what we're going to be doing for the homepage URL, go back to this GitHub repository. You want to copy this URL, which is the local host, paste it into the homepage URL. For the authorization callback URL, you want to copy this second URL over here. And once that is done, you can then have it so that you can register the application. And lastly, you just need to create your own client secret ID and key. So just click on this. Once you have created those two variables, you can then paste it into the client secret over here and the client ID over there. Once you have made all the changes, just go back into VS Code, click on File, and then just simply click Save. Next, you want to simply just run these two commands in your command prompt, and you're going to be able to easily start up on your local host. And this is where you can start creating all your applications right away. Now, for some odd reason, whenever I view different generations on Google, it doesn't seem to show up. But if I am to take a look at it on Microsoft Edge, it does show up. And you can see the type of generations that have been able to show up. This is the quality of what sort of components are generated and this is why i definitely see rapid pages as a great option lastly let's take a look at comparing open ui with rapid pages now i just want to say that both of these applications are great in their own ways but for my particular purpose or way i want to utilize a type of app like this i would want to basically work with open ui over rapid pages now, i'm not saying rapid pages is horrible and you should never use it both of them are quite similar and they're basically on par. But the only reason why I would use OpenUI is because it has the ability to quickly, not just quickly, but it has the ability to utilize cross framework standardization. Whereas Rapid Pages, on the other hand, has the ability to quickly generate with React and Tailwind, but it's only limited to just that. Whereas OpenUI has the ability to basically utilize a broader a functionality of cross framework standardization and this is why i would basically utilize this over rapid pages but the thing with rapid pages is that they also have that snap feature which also puts it ahead of open ui so both basically have a lot of pros and cons attached to it so i guess the best thing for you is to just simply try it out yourself to see which one works best because 
this is a really cool direct ID like uh, I would say generation system that you can easily just prompt in within their system to generate various components. Whereas OpenUI focuses on a slower approach where it focuses and appeals to looking to build the UI components across multiple frameworks, which is why it's a little bit slower. But both are great options and I definitely recommend that you try them out. But that basically concludes today's video on rapid pages. I definitely loved using this application. It's really cool and it's actually fairly old. So it's kind of strange that I didn't really make a video on this recently. But definitely take a look at this with the links in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different descriptions for completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.